The story about this run started in Japan, 2018. The Shako Hunters, a group of dedicated fly fishers, spent their life trying to catch Shaku-sized native fish species in their home rivers. Mr. Marcus Lemke, the Arctic businessman, quickly showed an interest for the tiny rods they used while fishing the small, branch-covered creeks. I didn't care so much about the rods, but I realized I spent way too much time traveling for fly fishing. And when I got home to northern Sweden, I started re-exploring my own home rivers. I started to accept the fact that tiny creeks seldom produce big fish. And when accepting that, I realized the forest was covered with shaku creeks. That's when I came to realize I was a little limited by my 9 foot class 5 rod. It wasn't a huge problem, but I didn't quite feel like a ninja. Lemke was already a few steps ahead of me. He had established contact with a mythical rod builder on the eastern shore of the Baltic. Well, I'm recording you, I think. Starting yep. recording. And now I put the magic lights on. Where are you at? I'm heating up the sauna. Lemke had asked Jussi to develop a rod for tiny creeks. However, you had started developing that rod almost 20 years earlier. My first rod was made from glass fiber and it was shit. It was heavy and it was clunky. But then afterwards when I started to build rods I uh, got to know sort of like a good glass and the properties, how, how good glass rods are made and uh, when it's made of this sort of quicker glass material uh, it recovers very firm. It doesn't wobble. It's still, you know, working slow. So when you are in a tight situations, uh, you can still have the feeling that the rod is laid back and soft, but it still recovers very well. What is the difference between the old glass rods that uh, the tip is more firm, the tip part? You know, many people think that uh, uh, glass fiber rods are these sort of like a spaghetti rods. Mm. But, but uh, it's usually that the tips are not stiff enough, you know. Of course it's short and it, it bends much steeper from the butt section. So it, it actually gives more turning power to the fisherman. The, the bending, like how the, the rod is bending all the way down to the hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you don't need to necessarily uh, try to hunt baby trouts. You can also go after real trouts. The summer of 2020 was about to end when I finally got the rod in my hand. The rod was lovely and I did feel like a ninja, but something was wrong. I didn't find any trout. I even started blind fish the spots where I knew there would be trout. Nothing. Have you caught any fish on this rod? Uh, 